All right, so here we are in the uh, advanced input section, and this is where this is where we can really start to uh, uh, do some more interesting uh, more interesting stuff. I want to go back to the, imp the, the basic uh, input section first. I want to show you uh, one thing that you can do, and this is really something I should probably pay a lot more attention to when I use this. But if you check this uh, little these little black squares. It's going to turn them orange, and you can go in and you can put in monthly specific reproduction rates. Instead, of, so instead of just 30%, I could go in there and put 25% in July, 30% in August, uh, maybe September. We'll back it down to 20%. Anyway, the uh, the calculator is going to take all those numbers and it's going to apply them on a monthly specific basis. Uh, so instead of just 30%, you can you can uh, choose what your different rates are going to be for different months. I realize that's an inexact science, but it's going to be nice to have the flexibility for you to do that since, uh, especially up north, we're going to get a lot different reproduction rates if we're, if we're doing our uh, permaculture, say, outside or in a barn or something like that. It's just not ideal conditions. So, you, so we can expect a little bit of a drop-off there. Actually, probably a lot of a drop-off in the December, January, February time frames. Anyway, let's go back to the uh, advanced uh, input. Uh, here we can set a quantity goal. We'll just again use a nice round number of 1,000 pounds. And uh, we're going to enter that. And here we go. The scoreboard here says we're going to reach that goal in October of 2016. Uh, we can also set what our maximum surface area is. This is basically just how much surface area do you have for vermiculture or vermicomposting. Um, it's, this is not floor area, this is surface area, so if you've got 10 square feet of floor area, but you can, you can stack up bins, uh, you know, 10 layers high, you're going to get a lot more than 10 square feet of surface area. So we'll just say that this is, uh, yeah, we'll just say 500 uh, square feet, and our population density is one pound per square foot. Uh, when we, at, when we enter that information, we can come over here and say, we're actually going to run out of space for vermicomposting in August of 2016, uh, or for vermiculture. Uh, that just gives you a heads up on, hey, you know, you might get some real eye-popping numbers here when it comes to your, what population that you can grow. But if you don't have the space for it, then you might, you, you might need to factor that into to your future plans. Uh, the next thing, and this is where it gets kind of fun, is we can put in what our worm unit retail value is. And I'm going to go ahead and put in $20 per pound. I know a lot of a lot of us can get more than that per for one pound, but if uh, if there's oops, I must not have selected a currency. There we go. I'll select a currency here and put in uh, 20 pounds or 20 $20 per pound. Uh, also, we can do the castings unit retail value, which is, again, just how much can we sell a pound of castings for. So I'll just say, uh, I'll just say $2 there. Uh, so if you look over here, now, now that we've said what, our, what we can sell our worms for, the calculator can start telling us what, our, what the value of these worms are going to be uh, 12 months out and then 24 months out. And um, it's really pretty amazing, actually, what compounding interest can do for you here. Uh, so 12 months later, at the basically at the end of the 12th month after you start. So um, in this case, that's going to be uh, at the end of next June. Um, our unit, our uh, worm retail value will be $8,600, and 24 months after that is going to be over $310,000. Uh, this is all just. These are, this is all just a projection. It's just hypothetical. There's a lot of other things that come into play here. But this is what the numbers tell us, that if you grow at 30% reproduction rate for the next two years, starting with 10 pounds, you're going to end up with $310,000 worth of worms, assuming you can sell them for $20 per pound. Um, so I'll just back this number off 5%, this monthly reproduction rate, and you can actually see what happens it's going to get cut in by a third or so. So it goes from $310,000 down to $91,000. Because understand, this is a monthly reproduction rate. This is not a monthly, this is not like some annual rate. This is what you get every month. 
and this 25% to 30%, that's roughly uh, equates to the double every 90 days rule of thumb that a lot of people like to use. I think there's a lot of evidence that says this number is way too low, um, but uh, this is just what we're going to use for today's example. Uh, let's go to the monthly die-off here. Um, your worms aren't going to live forever, so I think you, we need to be able to account for that. So I'm just going to bump this number up to 5%, and again, when I do that, I want you to look over here at what happens to our numbers. So I put it up to 5%, and it goes back down to around $91,000. Um, so your worms are going to die at some point, and uh, you need to be able to account for it to get some realistic numbers. Okay, so many of you may be just uh, getting started, and you understand that you probably shouldn't just start selling your worms right away. You may be in growth mode now, not sales mode, uh, so you're more interested in, uh, in just growing that worm supply. So you can put in a date in the future that you're going to start harvesting your worms. So let's just pick something out here. Let's go out to, say, May 31st of 2016. And that's a date you say you're going to actually start harvesting your worms. And so you go down to this next uh, field, which is your monthly harvest. This is what you're actually going to plan to harvest each month. We'll just keep it a nice round number of, say, 10 pounds again. And... Uh, before I hit enter on this, I just want you to see what it's going to do to your numbers again. Your warm retail value at the end of 24 months is currently about a little under $91,000. We're going to hit 10 pounds a month of harvest, and you're going to see that number drop to about $62,000. Um, this also has a monthly specific option, so as many of you know, uh, the spring and, and summer uh, can be pretty crazy in terms of sales and in terms of demand. Uh, for your worms, uh, so you can put in what your monthly projections are for what your harvests are going to be. And you also know how dead it can be in November, December, January, and through the winter. Um, I'm not going to put in any numbers here, but I just want to show you that that, uh, that that exists here as well. Uh, the next one is your inventory value goal. You can say just, you may set a goal of saying, I want X number of dollars of worms. Uh, in my inventory, and here we'll just say we want $50,000 of worms, uh, and once we do that, we can come up here and see that, well, in July of 2017, we're going to hit that goal, and we can come over here and play with the reproduction rate and say, well, if we don't get 30%, let's say we get 25%, well, now we're gonna, not going to reach that until April of 2018, but if we can have a really juice our reproduction rate here, go up to 35%, maybe even 40%. 40%, we're going to hit that in November of 2016. 